Hi, at MSD of Steuben County, what we are looking into is replacing our Promethean boards and smart boards with the use of televisions. And I'm sure most teachers are thinking, well, at one time I had a TV and then I went to a smart board or I went to Promethean board, and now we're talking about going back to televisions? Well, it's not exactly the same as it used to be. At one time, those televisions, all they were used for were movies. That's about it. So now, there's really no need for an interactive screen because you can do that all from a device. This is a touchscreen Chromebook. Uh, most Chromebooks that are coming out here in the near future are touchscreen. And the fantastic thing about them is that you have the capability of casting wirelessly, being completely free from the front of the room. It's a very powerful thing to be able to walk around with your device in your hand interact with it. If you want a student to interact with it, you can hand it to them and they could write directly on the screen as well. So I'll show you what I mean. When you want to cast to a Chromecast, you click on the three dots on the top right of your Chromebook. You hit the cast button and when you do that, what will happen is it'll pop up with some choices. And there is my MS-CC6. I'm going to select it and then what it'll do is it will cast right now up onto the screen and now I can see what is within this tab. I'm going to click on this X on my Chromebook here and now I can see directly what's on there. When I scroll on this page it scrolls up here on the TV as well. If I go to a link, let's say I click on the word TV here, it'll switch to that link, open it, and I'm able to scroll directly on that page. Okay, And you might say, well, Lance, that's nice and all, but it's not very interactive, not like a smart board or a Promethean board. That's not true either. I have extensions that I can use that will allow me to actually write directly on the screen. So if I want to mark directly in a space, I can do that. If I want to underline using just a line, I can do that. If I want to type directly on the screen, I can use the text tool. And write directly on it. Now, I made a little mistake there. I apologize for that, but you get the point. I'll exit that because I'm going to have another video later going into more detail on how to use that tool. Now, when I first casted, I casted what's called a tab. If I switch tabs on my Chromebook, if I open a new tab and I go to Google, you'll see on my TV that I still have this screen up. Over here on this tab to the left, I can switch and I'm able to go back to it. You can see that there's a little symbol there that's letting me know that I'm casting that tab. If I want to cast a new tab, I hit the three dots again. Or you'll notice that there is a cast icon right here on the top right. I'll hit the cast icon on the top right. It'll pop down with my blue menu saying that this is the Chrome mirroring task tab that I'm casting. I can hit the cast button from here and it'll automatically switch tabs just like that. So if I want to go back, I switch tabs, I hit the cast button on the top right, it'll pop up with the blue box, and I can hit the cast button again. And instantly I'm able to switch between these tabs. You'll mostly want to do tab casting when you're in the process of just showing one page. If you're going to switch between a lot of pages, you'll want to do something called a desktop cast. So to do that, I'm going to first disconnect here. I'm going to hit my cast button again. I'm just going to hit stop. You get these nice pictures that pop up for your Chromecast background. Isn't it nice? The students like these too. So then what I can do is when I hit the three dots, or I like to call them the meatballs, and I hit the cast button, it'll pop down. I also have a button up here at the top that says Cast 2. When I hit that Cast 2, I have a choice between Tab and Desktop. Tab is the default. If I choose Desktop, it'll allow me to choose my destination. It'll say your entire screen. If you have a different application in the background, you can run just that one. I'll hit Share. And it'll allow me to switch between my tabs 
without skipping a beat. Now here's the catch. The catch. If I do it that way, where I can switch between the tabs, you'll lose performance. It won't work as well as far as video and audio quality. If I'm trying to send a video to my TV, I need to really just send a tab, do the default. If I if there's no video required and I just need to switch between tabs a lot, then you can cast your entire desktop. Okay, so that's a little intro on how to utilize Google Cast and work with it interactively with these touchscreen Chromebooks. It's fantastic because you can flip your screen completely around like this, interact with it just like you would your interactive board and flip it back. And anytime you need to stop casting, you can press the cast button or you can press down on the bottom right and you'll see that it says casting Chromecast built-in TV. I'll hit stop and I can stop there as well.